And you know what you might do when you're doing that? When you look up, you have a great, great smile. You're looking. Mr. Um, great energy today with the Quarter Dojo. The testament is one year on, on in and thousands of kids learning at the fold, not only in Ireland but around the world. What does this say to us about what we should be doing in our education system around bringing coding skills into the education system? Well, this is a wonderful opportunity to tap into a resource that I always have believed is there, is uh, the spirit of community, of coming together and working together uh, to achieve a particularly positive outcome. Uh, we did it many, many years ago in this country. We're still well capable of doing it now. And what, what I believe Coder Dojo is is community activism in the 21st century. It's people um, who have skills, uh, in either coming from academia or from the, the IT sector, willing to give up their time, free of charge, on a voluntary basis, on a Saturday morning or a Friday evening, to pass on those skills, that love of all things coding, of all things IT, to the next generation. Because if Ireland is anxious, and, and we are, to position ourselves as one of the world leaders in this sector, these skills in 10 or 15 years' time will be as necessary as, as English or Irish was to you and I when we were growing up as children. So, um, I was first became aware of Coder Dojo about nine, ten months ago on Twitter. Just saw some nice Twitter traffic being exchanged about it, what was happening. Uh, we set, One happened in Galway City, 170 children turning up on a Saturday morning. I said, why not have one in my own local town in Athenry? I was very, very fortunate to have Michael Madden, who's a professor of IT in NUIG, living in Athenry, coming on board saying, yes, we'll run with this, we will make it happen. And now we have every Saturday morning, 100 children turning up, uh, learning, uh, interacting with one another. It's, it's no different to rugby training, or soccer training, or hurling training, or Gaelic training on a Saturday morning. This is just another field, another sphere that our young people have an interest in, and we're feeding that interest and we're encouraging it, and it's great. Adrian, uh, you guys held your first Coder Dojo at Dell's uh, campus in Cherrywood. Uh, many of the employees, kids came along. What, what was that experience like? Well, it was super. So we have, well, we've obviously got 1,500 people on site in Cherrywood. So we had the country in on Saturday morning. So it was uh, something like 62 kids uh, there. So they were employees or uh, children of our employees. So it went really, really well. Yeah. So the feedback's been fantastic. So we think we'll keep doing that both in Limerick and in Dublin. Uh, you guys are employers uh, in this country, a large, large employer. And a lot of people, a lot of employers are looking for people with the skills. Now, now, some of these kids may be a few years off uh, being able to work in Dell, but in terms of this kind of activity, do you think this will help the situation, ease the situation later on? Absolutely. So, we, well, technology is a key enabler, we think, certainly for the business in Ireland at the moment. So, getting kids using technology, but also having a lot of fun with it. So, instead of playing with computer games or whatever, they're actually developing their own software and their own little gadgets, so we think the development side of it leads to further from an education perspective, but it also allows them to use their own skills and develop their own skills, so we, we think it's great. you think this is something that might scale within Dell, and maybe uh, other Dell students around the world might be interested in based on, on the success that's happened here? Well, hopefully. So we do a lot of sharing. We're a global company, so uh, we share between all our sites. So in fact, uh, internally from a social media perspective, that would have been broadcast out to all part of 100,000 employees. James, one year in. Uh, a year ago, you told me about this great idea. I was uh, mesmerized, uh, but didn't think it would be as successful as this. Any given Saturday, there's about 5,000 kids studying coding every every Saturday. What, what does this mean here? It's it's really breathtaking like, to see the amount of kids who are enthused by it and, and have so much fun doing it, and see the amount of volunteers and parents who are involved who are just passionate about it. it it's really breathtaking. And in terms of like some of the... Uh, some of the kids, as we know, are already spinning off companies. Uh, what, what would you like to see next for Dojo? Um, I'd like to see uh, more connection and communication between dojos and sharing content. And uh, That's something that we're working on the infrastructure. And we're going to be rolling out a few updates in a couple of weeks. And Also, uh, we're looking at starting to organize big competitions. So maybe we might have, uh, we might have giant karate kid style competitions, but with code instead of karate. So. Uh, in terms of the, uh, the kind of um, Achievement so far. I mean, the the dojos themselves kind of send out a signal to me. This this stuff that we might need on our school curriculum. The fact that the government today is allowing you guys in to see around it all and show them what you guys can do. What would be your hopes for computer education in Ireland? Um, I think I think it'd be great that if we did get coding in. I know with the, uh, the way that the Department of Education is, that it can be often a long thing to get a new subject introduced. But uh, we're starting to see a lot of teachers come to Coder Ojo, and I've uh, been working with and talking to a lot of teachers about taking it back to the classroom. And the Irish uh, Computer Society is doing a lot of work in this sphere as well, about creating a, a syllabus for it. So there's a lot of stuff, and I hope within the next maybe two to four years that we will see something in classrooms.